Hey, how you doing? Listen, while I got you here, I'm going to show you how to make Kool-Aid. Now, a lot of people... John. What? <laughs> cut, cut. What are you trying to say? John, why are you whispering? Anyways, back to you. Don't mind me and how I appear to be. I'm a college student, but moving forward, as I said before, I'm going to show you how to make Kool-Aid. All right, and in this video, I will be using a couple of different containers that you could put it in because when you're making Kool-Aid, it really doesn't matter. It's not about what you put it in. It's how it comes out and how you make it. So we are going to be using a cup, a bottle, maybe even a shot glass. It really doesn't matter. No more talking. Let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna like try to organize this before we. John, why is the key? All right, so luckily for this, we don't need John. Um, by the way, that's my cameraman if I didn't um, say it before. But yeah, you know, he's kind of quiet. But anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. As you can see, I decided to get my traditional pitcher. Um, I have a little water bottle, a little cup, shot glass, a cup, and a pickle jar. And I know you're probably wondering, like, why does she have all these strange items? Because I want you guys to see that it doesn't matter what you put it in, the process is still the same. So, to ensure that you guys know that, I'm just going to do it in a couple of different ways. So, we got our... Kool-Aid and um, I know y'all probably also thinking why the fuck she only got one pack of Kool-Aid well because I'm broke and I'm not gonna use all of the Kool-Aid and have my mama yelling at me last but not least we got our sugar and yes this is Domino sugar we just put it in here because we used an original bowl for spaghetti night okay but anyways, yeah, and she want to keep tabs on her sugar, so I'm not going to use a lot of sugar either, okay? I'm just telling you guys the steps. I'm not giving you measurements or anything, just the steps so y'all can know. <laughs> All right, in a moment y'all been waiting for. So, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know what to start with. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with the big picture so we can get that out the way. So what you do first... Kool-Aid. And as y'all know, I already added the water. We'll review the steps at the end. Sugar. And it's just such a repetitive process. All right. And then, of course, you got to stir it up. And if you're putting it in a cup, you add ice unless you got you some cold water. And even then, you still add ice, just in case you put too much sugar in it. Easy as that. Let's try it again. Water. Kool-Aid. Sugar. We're gonna use a fork. And it's the same process. Let's try it with the bowl. Oh my gosh. Let's see if it comes out the same. Water. Kool-Aid. Sugar. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. I cannot believe it. Let's do it again. Water. Kool-Aid. Sugar. This is freaking amazing. What about the pickle jar? Water, Kool-Aid, sugar. Actually, I'm gonna put the lid on and shake it up. Water, Kool-Aid. And last but not least, our bottle. Now it's a little hard to do this one, but we're gonna go ahead and do it anyway. Water, Kool-Aid, Sugar. What do you know? 
All right, so as you guys see, right here, right front and center, live and in action, I make Kool-Aid in about hmm, two, four, six different containers. And they all came out the same. And you want to know why? Because we followed the simple instructions. Water, Kool-Aid, sugar. I'm TNT Tay. Be back for another video next week. See you guys.